Now we're moving on to solving inequalities. The, the process for solving inequality is much the same as solving an equation. The difference is, is that if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative value, you switch the direction of the sign. Uh, we're not going to find that in, in these examples, but for future reference, if you multiply or divide both sides, not if one side is negative and you're multiplying by it, but if you're multiplying both sides by a negative value or dividing both sides by a negative value, then you switch the sign. So with p minus 3 fourths is greater than or equal to 1 sixth, I'll go ahead and in one step, let's put these over a common denominator. So 4 and 6, the least common multiple is 12. So 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. We'll go ahead and write this over to the side. This is 2 twelfths. We're adding 9 twelfths. So p is greater than or equal to 2 twelfths plus 9 twelfths is 11 twelfths. So I'll go ahead and do this in increments of a fourth. We'll start off with 3 fourths. That's the same thing as 9 twelfths. And then we'll go to 5 sixths. That's 10 twelfths. And then 11 twelfths. Then 12 twelfths is just 1. Then 13 twelfths. Then 14 twelfths is 7 sixths. Uh, and that, now it's just a matter of graphing just as we have in the previous uh, exercises. Since we have p is greater than or equal to 11 twelfths, that's inclusive. It includes the equal sign. So we're going to draw a square circle or a square bracket, a, a closed circle or a square bracket. That's to indicate that it's equal to 11 twelfths. It's also greater than 11 twelfths, so it's going to go to the right. And then in interval notation, we're starting at 11 twelfths. It's inclusive, so we use a square bracket, 11 twelfths, and we're going to infinity. All right, so 9c is greater than 72. We'll just divide both sides by 9, and we get c is greater than 8. Nice whole number. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. This is non-inclusive, so we can use either an open circle or a parenthesis. It starts at 8. I'm going to use an open circle. It goes to the right since it's greater than, so C is greater than 8. And then in interval notation, it's non-inclusive. It doesn't include the value of the, the constant. So we use a parenthesis, 8, and we're going to infinity. Now with this last one, it's a little more complicated because we have... 3 eighths and we've got a fraction with the variable but if we remember to get rid of a fraction we multiply by the reciprocal so let's multiply both sides by 8 thirds 24 divided by 3 is 8 8 times 8 is 64 so 8 thirds times 24 is 64 the 8 thirds and the 3 eighths cancel to leave 1 and that's less than or equal to M and then if we just switch sides and, and reverse the symbol we get m is greater than or equal to 64. You could subtract m from both sides and then subtract 64 from both sides but you'd end up with the same thing. m is greater than or equal to 64. So let's start with 62, 63, 64, 65, and 66. It's inclusive, so we'll use a closed circle or a square bracket. I'll go ahead and use a square bracket this time to indicate that it includes the 64. And then it's greater than, so we're going to the right. And 64 using a square bracket because it includes the 64, and we're going to infinity.